Hello, hello, it's Stumplet here. Here's an item on summations. Find the value of the following. 2 squared plus 8 squared plus 14 squared plus so on and so forth until 116 squared. Credits to the Big Bay Bay, the BBB for the item. As usual, pause this video if you'd like to give this item a try. But if you're done, let us dive into the solution. Now, um, before you watch this video, I highly suggest you to click on this link where you're going to learn some of the common summations that you see in math competitions. So those are pretty much the essentials. You're going to uh, learn probably some of the nice formulas for some of the familiar uh, summations that we have to do. Now, in this case, uh, we're taking the sum of squares of some numbers, 2, 8, 14, all the way until 16. Now, although they might seem random, they are, uh, it's probably a nice pattern for us that we can find. So usually um, we find patterns to make sure we could uh, work on this thing because it's very impossible to uh, get the values one by one. So we were going to rely on patterns. Now, well, we know there are squares, but let's just take a look at the numbers uh, we're squaring. So 2, 8, 14, all the way until 1, 1, 6. Now, you know, this is a very familiar pattern. It's just an, it's just an arithmetic sequence. So we have a common difference of 6. All right. Now, interestingly, uh, that's going to be uh, from the first term of 2, we add a certain number of times of 6, let's just call it k for now, to reach 116. So 6k would be equal to 114. So k here would be equal to 19. Okay, so I added k 19 times. So from the first term, I added 19 times. So there's a total of 20 terms in the sequence. So we're going to kind of use this uh, later. But these are just uh, some of the nice stuff that we have to kind of get for now. Now, we kind of want to get um, the general form of this one. Now, you're going to see why we want to get the general form, because we want to write this in terms of the sigma notation. We could simplify a lot of stuff from here. So, well, we do have uh, 20 terms, right? We do have 20 terms. So let's just say we have from n equals 1 until 20. That's going to signify that we have 20 terms. And since um, this sequence is a difference of 6, well, it's going to be of, this, it's going to be of the form like 6n. Uh, plus something, right? And you could do, you guys could do some working on uh, some trial and error. You're going to see it's going to be 6n minus 4. It's not that difficult to find uh, the general form, but after you have the general form, you can always try to substitute the values one by one so that you could kind of see, oh, it is going to be correct. So you can try if n equals 1 into this uh, 6n minus 4, that's going to be 2, that's correct. If n equals 2, then it's going to be 8. It's going to be 14 when n equals 3, and so on. And that's going to be um, the general term, the general form of the things uh, in the base. And then obviously the exponent is just going to be a 2. So let me write this here. So we have, the, I'm going to say, the, summation, uh, the sigma notation of the, um, the sum that we want. So you want the sum of 6n minus 4 when squared from n equals 1 to 20. And this is pretty much a standard way to do this one. Let's try to expand this thing in the middle. I'm going to get 36n squared minus uh, 48n plus 16. Now, the reason why I want to write it in, in terms of this is because we could use uh, the fact that we're adding um, values of n from 1 to 20. Of, I'm, going to say these, I'm going to say these three forms. So, for example, if n equals 1, if n equals 1, essentially I'm adding 36 times 1 squared minus uh, 48 times 1 plus a 16. If n equals 2, I'll, do, I'll be having say, 36 times 2 squared minus 48 times 2 plus 16. And then all the way until n equals 20. That's going to be 36 times 20 squared minus 48 times uh, 20 plus 16. And we could just, see, we could, we could just add the mm, terms that are, I'm going to say, pretty similar. Take a look. Uh, in the 36 times uh, something squared, we're essentially doing 36 times uh, the sum of the squares from 1 to 20, right? And then for the next column, uh, for the next column over here, essentially I'm doing minus 48 times uh, the sum of the positive integers from 1 to 20. And then for the last column here, a bunch of 16s. Well, since I'm adding from n equals 1 to n equals 20, uh, that's going to just be um, 20 16s, right? So 16 times 20. So all we have to do is just work on this sum. So it's just going to be 36 
times, well, we do have the formula for the sum of the first uh, n positive perfect squares. So it's going to be uh, the 1 squared plus 2 squared all the way until 20 squared. We can write that's 20 times 21 times 41 divided by 6. For the next one, minus 48 times the sum of the positive integers from 1 to 20. So minus 48 times uh, 20 times 21 divided by 2. And then the 16 plus 20, uh, sorry, the 16 times 20, it's just going to be, I'm just going to write here, 320, right? So what we have to do is just work on this sum. All right, we could cancel out the 6, that's good. So 6 times 20 times 21 times 41, that's going to give us, so the blue part, it's going to give us uh, 103,320. Next, for the green part, well, the 48 and the 2 cancel out, so 24. So 24 times 20 times 21, that's going to give us 10,080. And then just add the 320. And all we have to do is just work out what this sum is. And if you guys work out uh, what this thing is, you're going to get that the answer here, it's going to be 93,560. Now the numbers is a bit big, but it's kind of expected because we're adding um, some, uh, some big squares as well. So this is going to be the final answer. So the general formula, write it down, try to expand it, and then use the common summations to help us get the answer. So you know, common summations like sum of squares, sum of the cubes, and the sum of the positive integers, um, these are the things that we typically use after we expand the general form of the term. Anyways, hopefully you guys learned something new from this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.